After being stung by over a thousand bees, this poor deaf pit bull was tragically dumped by his owners. Deaf, furless, and completely covered in sores, Stinger the pup hadn't had the best start in life. After all, more than 1,000 bees had stung the poor pit bull and his owners had abandoned him. But thankfully, the dog was about to meet his guardian angel. In September 2016, Stinger the pit bull was just 10 months old. But despite his relatively short life, the canine had already been through a lot. Indeed, it seemed that this adorable pup just couldn't catch a break. After all, the unlucky pup had somehow come into contact with a swarm of ground bees. Not just that, but the angry bees had stung the pit bull more than 1,000 times. In fact, during the attack, the bees covered every inch of his little body in painful punctures. However, Stinger's suffering didn't end there. No, nope, the sheer number of stings triggered an allergic reaction, so a vet prescribed him antibiotics. But the pills did more harm than good, as the poor pooch was allergic to them too. Moreover, just when the dog needed all the help he could get, his owners couldn't offer it. In fact, they abandoned him at a veterinary surgery in Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's when Kara Shapala, founder of Love and Pups Animal Rescue, learned about the dog's dilemma. Certainly, Stinger had his challenges. On top of his allergies, the unfortunate animal was severely underweight. He was also suffering from sarcoptic mange, a skin condition that had caused much of his fur to fall out. Speaking of Stinger's owners, Shapala told Fox 17, they brought him to the vet and that's where they left him. Whether it was because of money or because of the condition he was in, now I'll be stuck with his medical bills, which is fine. Images from when Stinger arrived at the shelter showed the pit bull covered in painful red lesions. The wound spread from the tip of his nose to the end of his tail. Still, the dog's sweet nature shone through in the pictures, after all. People inundated Stinger with messages of support and even adoption offers on Facebook. This is heart-wrenching. Oh my God in heaven, please help in the care of this beautiful creature. The shelter placed Stinger in a medical foster home where he could recover from his various ailments. In the meantime, Shapela got to work raising funds for his medical bills. So just a few weeks after his awful ordeal, Stinger began to act like a puppy once again. He now wants to play, Shapala told the Huffington Post. We took him for a walk and he was trying to chew on the leash and his butt was waggling. But Stinger had to wait up to 12 weeks until his manes died down before he was eligible for adoption. Furthermore, the deaf dog would need specialized sign language training to help him communicate in his forever home. He's been a gentle, sweet boy the entire time, Chapela told the Huffington Post. And even at his lowest ebb, Stinger just wanted to be loved, even in pain. All he wanted to do was put his head in my lap and kiss me, she said. Stinger is an amazing dog. He loves everyone he meets, Shapela added in an interview with Bored Panda in January 2017. He's the perfect image of how people should see the breed. Sweet, funny, and full of life. However, just as the shelter began searching for Stinger's perfect home, vets made a shocking discovery. In fact, the deaf pit bull also had pemphingus. If left untreated, this autoimmune disease can be deadly to dogs. We treated him for the reactions and scabies, and we were clearly on the mend. Then something happened, Chapela explained in a Facebook post in 2016. Whether it was drug-induced or his body had just had enough, he began to get a little itchy again. After a series of tests, vets diagnosed the dog with pemphingus. The disease can cause nasty ulcerations, cysts, and lesions on the skin. In order to control the condition, Stinger would need lifelong treatment and constant monitoring. As a result of his prognosis, Chapela decided against putting Stinger up for adoption. 
The vet concluded that his treatment was too costly to rely on someone else to look after him. And although life didn't work out the way Stinger had expected, he's never been happier. In fact, he settled in well at his new home, and his foster mom April loves giving him belly rubs. April loves him and gives him a forever home, Chappella confirmed on Facebook in 2017. And while it seems that Stinger has had his share of bad luck, those at Lovin' Pups sees it differently. He may have endured more pain in one year than some dogs will know in their entire lifetime, but he's happy.